Now let's review this figure 21-25 uh, uh, in Stock of Electrical Design Book, uh, Volume 2. Uh, and we're dealing with motors here. And we're dealing with these motors with the requirements in, uh, for motors uh, and generators in accordance with 501.125 A and B. Now, the motor rules for a Class 1 Division 1 location is first of all the uh, the enclosure that encloses the motors cannot see uh, eighty percent of the ignition temperature of the gas or vapor. Overheating must be prevented by some uh, method. You know, overloads will be uh, used that will uh, disconnect the motor under certain conditions. Explosion proof enclosures are purged and. Uh, pressurized enclosures, you know, must be used, and we prevent overheating uh, the surface temperature beyond the ignition temperature of the gas or vapor. Now, uh, explosion-proof motors uh, are uh, identified and their use in uh, 501.125A. Now, motors used in a Class 1 Division 2 location the main thing there is that you have to take care of the contacts. Any contacts involved can arc or spark. Heat cannot develop beyond the ignition temperature of the gas or vapor. So in Class 1 Division 2, yes, you can use explosion-proof uh, enclosures, purged and pressurized enclosures, uh, or you can use uh, totally enclosed non-ventilating uh, type motors as long as there's not any sparking contacts involved. It'd be motors without such devices. Now, uh, you know, if you're using uh, purged and pressurized motors, we want to go over to NFPA 496 and start with 4.11. And, you know, we start designing uh, the, uh, the requirements that are needed to use such an enclosure. Now notice, uh, if it's a Class 1 Division 1 motor, you have to uh, sweep that enclosure out, 10 volumes of air, uh, sweep it out real good and purge it, and then uh, hit it with uh, the uh, uh, pressure and pressurize it, and then uh, the motor can come on, uh, start, accelerate, and drive the driven load. Now, basically, that's just exactly uh, what this uh, figure uh, 21 dot, uh, dash 25, excuse me, is illustrating. Requirements for motors and generators in accordance with 501.125 A and B in the NEC.